Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you want to join the channel membership, you can join by clicking the link in the description bar. If you don't see a join now by the subscribe button, it is $1.99 and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Also guys, make sure you're following me on Instagram. It's Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Sometime I upload pictures before I actually get a chance to do a video. Um, I do have a blog and it is MissRenniesmithBabies.com. Now, today I'm going to do a review of the Sandy by Joanna Kaznarak. Um, and I have here with me number 579 out of 2900. 580 out of 2900 so I'm glad I saw that because when I went to the website let me show you guys what I'm looking at when I went to the website I did not notice it still had the to be determined on the edition size 2900 is to me almost like an open edition to be honest um i mean this kit will it'll probably you probably have a minute to order it to be honest um i don't know i guess this is a lot of sculptors way of saying my edition is limited still but technically still doing as much as an open edition would do because I mean, come on, the only person probably selling that that many kits is Bonnie Brown. Um, and not putting down any other sculptor, but I just think that, that Bonnie Brown kind of um, probably sell the most kits. It's just my, from what I see in the community and what I think. Um she does it's really nice she has a nice seal on her coas on. uh i guess it's not gonna focus for me there it is nice little seal so anyway i have to put them away but let's get started with this uh kit review um i you know took a look at it and of course i put one together so i um you know i ordered two just because i i typically will want to sell one and then i want to keep one and you know it's just better for me to order in twos a lot of times if i think i'm going to like the kit um but so let's get started and I'll at the end I'll tell you guys what I think or whatever. So let's start with the hands on this one. I'm gonna start with the hands. Because the hands were the the, the the hands were the part that I was a little concerned about. Um in the photos the hands looked fairly small um and i i was concerned i was like gosh is the hands like super small um they're not gigantic baby hands so she almost look she's a little like more like a she's not like super petite but yeah so I think I I think the hands are good size and I like them. I like the position of the hands. Let me show you. Come on, silly thing. All right. I know y'all get tired of people saying, "Focus camera, focus." But yeah, so the hands are there you go. So it's like some of the fingers are separated and then like two of them are connected. But it's a very natural 
position for me, I think. Um, nice little elbow. So the arm is just not like a noodle arm. Hang on, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe I need to zoom out a little bit. Um, so yeah, the, the, the arm is not like just noodly shaped. It's a nice shaped arm. It's just a nice wrist bone, which I, I always like when they have a decent little wrist bone. I don't know why, that's just something weird about me. See how it has that little curve there. All right. And this hand is all the, the, the fingers are separated. So again, I like I like it. Um a little bit like it's kind of like she has a little bit of a baby fat roll right in, in there. Um so they're not like muscular arms or overly fat arms. I don't know if you guys know about me, I don't particularly like real fat babies. Um but yeah, that that is um, that is the arms and hands. So I do I do like them. Um, I'm gonna show the legs now because I actually really do like the legs a lot. I think this is the reason why I wanted to order the kit because when I saw the legs, I was like, oh my gosh, that is so so young baby, like the little fat chubby thighs even if it's not going to be a big baby. So these are the legs. Look, even when you put them together, look at those little legs. Oh my gosh. So cute. Cuz see my babies, my real babies were they were kind of long, but they 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 had a little fat on them, but not like over they wasn't overly fat babies. So I love the legs. So let's let's take one and go with with it. So I love the way she did the little knees and the kneecap, the legs, little fat little legs. Um, the back of the leg is nice. Um, ankle bone is pretty nice. So the feet was surprisingly really big. Um, some might think they are a little too big, but I think they're great size. And simply because, look at this, simply because this baby is a standing baby, so it'll help her balance more. And also, um, I think um, it's just perfect for shoes, you know? It's so many times babies be this big and they don't fit shoes. Like her feet are prob her feet are, is actually bigger than the mealy skull so i love that i love 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 that um and i thought the mealy skull was pretty pretty good size um one separate toe here i didn't check and see if the other one we'll see one separate toe here which is nice for a sandal if the other one is separate let's see yep so both both toes right here is separate so if you want to wear the put them on the like the little thong like uh sandals um they can do that um nice little ankle bone i think i said that already um yeah so i i love so far okay i love i love this i love the legs i love the arms i think i love the legs it's like my favorite and i love the, the feet size and then this is the face so let's let's look at the ears okay so the ears are very beautiful really love the ears i love the ears the ears is beautiful 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 those are some beautiful ears. Beautiful ears. Little full bottom lip. Which is nice. Really nice. And I love her, her expression. Her or him expression. And I love that this kid is so versatile. I, I definitely can see it as a boy and a girl. Um, she has a nice nose. Oh my goodness. So like... 
her little side profile is, is decent. Her head is not huge. Rooters will definitely appreciate this head size. Her head size is actually probably, um, I think my Alexis by Cassie Brace head is almost this size. So I, I think it's not that big of a head, which actually still works for her. So I'm gonna put that here. And it, the body, I like the body that they sent with her. So this is the body. It doesn't have any chest gathers, but, or too much of a gather in the back, but it, it definitely, you know, with toddlers, it works. So I think let me let me show y'all her standing up first. Cause I did put one together. So let me let me see if I can get over here and get you guys a full view. So you can either lean her up against stuff, get a doll stand or um, armatures. Um, I've been having a hard time trying to find some armatures for her size. Um, but I can't remember where I bought my last armatures from, but I definitely want to to put armatures in at least one of them. But she does kind of stand, you see, if she's leaned up against something. Yeah. Let's see. So like that's her standing and that's her little feet. So this outfit, so everybody had a big, huge, there was this big conversation about one of the prototype artists was like, oh, she fits three to six months. And they're like, how is she a toddler? She fit three to six months. Well, she is, I think, the perfect, like, one-year-old. So she's just hitting the toddler stage. And that's my idea of her. So um, that outfit, actually, what she has on is three to six months. You know, the bottom is a little, fall a little short, but not so much. Um... And so I think, I, I think she's like, I think I can see where they're saying that because clothes are cut so big. Because that outfit um, actually, you know, two years ago would have been a 12-month a, a outfit. The sizes of clothes has really changed a lot lately. So, but I am going to do something here also just for comparison purposes of size for you guys since a lot of people have the Mealy Sculpt. I am going to bring Joey in just for a bit so you guys can see him next to her. All right, Joey, it's time for you to do your thing. I don't know what age Joey's supposed to be, but he fits more tutti clothes. So, let's see. All right. So my light is kind of in the way. Don't mind. He just need more color on, uh, light on him. So he, his color might look a little crazy. But that's not what we're looking at. We're looking at. We're looking at size. All right, so see, it's it's a big size difference. Um, like that's the the size difference, okay? But I, I like I said again, I I think that she is considered to be a a, a younger baby. You can look at her 
and tell that she's in her face she's she's still such a younger baby you see what i'm saying that that's that's a younger baby she is you know just starting to say you know one or two words maybe at best um if she's saying anything at this at this stage so um overall i want to say this i was very excited about the kit when i opened it up and my initial reaction of it um i want to say also that <laughs> even shocking to myself i feel like let me see how that that leg that leg is um one of these is that kind of oh oh it's the way that it's leaning the 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 leg okay i'm gonna sit her down here she's kind of put on her body kind of tight uh uh okay well so goes for that but i wanted to anyway she would sit still sit decently but i was trying to look at her wrist but i'm, I'm really excited about this foot size like that is that is amazing good size but um anyway so basically um i so my my overall and I hate that they just look thrown all everywhere. <laughs> um so I think that her hands um are okay. Um uh, but with her feet being so big, I think her hands could have been a little bit bigger maybe, but it does not she looks like very overall proportion. Um, to be honest, um, and I, I, like I said, it's just because her feet is so big, you, you would kind of look for her hands to be kind of big, but, um, again, I, I don't, uh, I don't have a problem with anything on this, this particular kit, um, it is probably one of the very few kits that I think is pretty well put together. Overall, I really, really love this kit. I am really excited uh, about this kit. I, 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 I don't know. I, I did like the prototypes, although there was no black prototypes, so I don't. I haven't. Well, at least on the COA, there is not, and on the website, it's not. Um, I didn't or biracial or anything. They were all Caucasian. So I have to use my imagination on what she's going to look like as an AA sculpt. But um, um, Joy and I do better next time. Get you a black prototype, honey. We need to see them black too. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I, I, I actually really, really love the sculpt. Um, I am really excited about it. I, I wish I had time to put it on my schedule right away, but my schedule is very, 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 um, complex right now. So I don't know when I will get to painting this one. Um, but I, I can tell you, <laughs> I can tell you that I am so happy that I did order, uh, the kit and, and that I have the kit. I am definitely looking forward to uh, reborn in this kit. And, uh, you know, I have been saying I want a baby that's like in between. That's like, you know, a small toddler that can fit, you know, certain things. I have a lot of clothes and I actually sadly have given them away to real children because I couldn't. Um, I couldn't find um, a baby in my collection. I didn't think I'd have one in between sizes like that and so I gave a lot of the clothes away but I still have some that's in between and I'm I'm just really 
I'm really excited about. I think she's she's really gorgeous, and I think I'm going to probably just shop for her totally separate. So I'm definitely going to keep one in my personal collection. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have both in my personal collection, and there's a possibility of that, or if I'm going to uh, paint one and sell. But I I I think I I almost think I want to have a a boy and a girl of this kit. Because of the size, uh, the the way it's together, it's just gonna see it turn out how I paint them. So I don't know. I don't know if I should paint them both together, side by side, or paint one at one time and then paint the other one the next time. Sometimes it's good to paint them separate so that when one turns out, I can see what I didn't like that I did on the first one and go back and and make the the next one better. So I don't know, but. Yeah, I, I'm really, 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 really happy about this one. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this crazy review. I know things are all over the place. Like I said, I I just had to rush and do, you know, a quick review um, for you guys. I I am getting a lot of babies out. They're going home. And what is this on this kit? like something I don't know Let's see right there hopefully it'll just wash off the kit has a lot of oils or something in the hands any I see um it's very shiny you see so I gotta make sure that's good and cleaned off and so that the paint don't it doesn't have any issues with paint but taking paint but the rest overall is nice I I I am I am really excited, um, excited. And this is not a German vinyl toddler. Like most toddlers are, just like that I like are German vinyl. And I am so happy that this one is not. I am so happy about that. Um, you guys have no idea. So very very excited. Looking forward to. I really hate to see her laying back like this. Um. I'm I'm very here. How about this? There we go. <laughs> I'm very uh, excited to to be able to paint paint her. So I had some eyes in here, and I don't know if she's gonna keep those eyes or not. But she, I had some uh, brown eyes, but. Stay tuned, guys. I'm sure we'll start seeing the the other ones pop out real quick. And a lot of people are probably going to run to rush to get them done like they did with the Lauras. Oh, my God. They started. Lauras popped out so fast. I was like, dang, these people painted them in, like, two hours. Like, painted and rooted. I was like, oh, my gosh. But um, I mean, I'm not going to rush to do it. But uh, so I don't know what skin tone or anything. I can't. It's like my imagination. Like sometimes I take the prototypes and I'll look at them and I'll go, huh, I want to go lighter, darker, in between. Well, being that we didn't have a black prototype with this kit, um, I, I don't have that to play in my head. So I got to kind of really use my imagination. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.